Hi everyone, this is Smuti. Welcome to QA Automation Classes. So in today's session, we are going to look into the PRs, right? What exactly is a PR and how to raise a PR and how to approve the PR and how to merge the code to the master branch. Okay. So there might be two cases. Okay. So one case when there are no merge conflict, you can go ahead and raise a PR from your feature branch to the master branch and that can be merged automatically okay and scenario two so when you are trying to raise a pr it is conflicting with the master changes and it needs uh, uh, manual merge conflict resolution okay so let's look into the first scenario where you will need a you will create a pr and there there is no other uh, merge conflict and we can uh, merge it directly to the master okay so if you have remembered in the last session uh, we have created this user registration branch and then pushed our branch to the remote repository okay and your our master master had uh, different code and our uh, user uh, registration had different code right there was new code added through our user registration okay if you see this is the master branch and if i go to the main.java you will see up to the merge conflict demo one was there code base if i same thing if i move to the user registration and open the same file okay main.java i can see after that one more line is added okay so now the master branch and the user registration branch both are not in sync right so this is one commit ahead of the master branch so now uh, if you go here right okay okay so now uh, we need to raise a pull request okay so let's go here the branch is one commit ahead of the master that is correct because in the user registration we have one commit so now we have to raise a pull request how to raise a pull request so go to the pull request okay welcome to pull request so we will create new pull request okay so how exactly you want your pull request to happen right so we are saying so base is master branch and uh, we are going to raise a pull request from user registration okay okay so that means from our user registration branch code change whatever code changes is there we want to raise a pr to the master branch so now if you see it is showing able to merge these branches can be automatically merged that means there are no conflict right it's just only one line got added and we can directly git is able to resolve that merge conflict okay so if you see here uh, it will show the details able to merge and here see discuss and review changes in this comparison with the others okay that's okay so it shows one commit is there and one file is changed and one contributor okay and if you see here uh, uh first commit in the user registration branch this is the last commit that that was there right so it also showing okay these two lines got added okay so this is one line and one empty line got added so it shows the details about uh, that uh, changes that happened in our feature branch so now i can say create pull request okay so here i can give the pull request related uh, some comment right whatever the heading i want to do right so i'll say uh, user registration completed okay so user registration flow automated or something whatever is the pr uh, message you can give if you want to give the additional comment you can give and you can say create a pull request okay so i'll just go and create pull request so now the pull request is already created if you see pull request the counter is showing as one that means one pull request is already created and the status is open okay and it says smoothly estate wants to merge one commit into master from user registration right because that's how we created on the base we said master and from 
branch we have selected sorry we have selected as the user registration okay so that that is that is clearly written over here so this user wants to merge one commit into the master from user registration maybe there will be multiple commits in some cases right so that will show those many commits into the that uh, uh, branch from the feature branch okay so conversation commit checks okay so we i have not done any uh, setup right so here if you see uh, i am the owner smuthi estate is the owner and uh, here if you see require approval from specific reviewers before merging okay so in the real time what happens in the real time there will be the few reviewers right so if you see here you can see reviewers no reviews still in progress convert to draft okay so here exactly i can go ahead and add the list of the reviewers okay if those are there uh, if i know their name if, when you go to the organization you can uh, search for their name suppose uh, one xyz person is there you can search for their name or email address and you can mark them as the reviewer okay so in most of the company there will be some review process set up right so at least one person or two person should approve the review approve the peer okay then only it will go and automatically merge into the feature uh, from feature branch to the master branch or whatever the branching strategy we are following right so you have to add the reviewers over here then reviewer will go through your code and they will give the comments okay so if they want for you to change something they will put their comments so that it will be visible to you then you can go ahead and fix those comments okay as per their comment you can fix them or you can have a discussion with them and you can fix them after that uh, they will go and say okay we are approving this merge so uh, approving this peer so when that peer is approved by them uh, if the rule is set up to approve by two persons and two persons are approving that peer then it will go and get merged right who is the master branch and we need to see whether that time if any uh, uh, merge conflict is there or not okay so here you have seen there were no merge conflict when we started to create the peer right so here you will say merge pull request okay so there are few options here with the merge pull request i am going to i am saying okay this pr whatever has created this is proper and i am going to approve it okay see here what is the problem i only created the merge pr and i am going to merge it right so usually what happens it goes through that uh, review process okay after the reviewers are done with their uh, reviews it will be automatically get merged that setup we can do right so uh, here we are not doing anything so simply i am the one who created the uh, peer and i am the one who is going to approve but while approving the peer or the merging the peer right there are few options are there if you see create a merge commit so you have seen in the last example also last time also right when you are doing a merge we have to give a merge commit there right so i think we can see here it should be here somewhere log uh, uh merge okay so when we are merging right so we have given the merge conflict also right so, uh, so we have given the merge commit uh, we, we, there was a merge commit okay so that is this option which is a default option that will be selected okay all commits from this branch will be added to the base branch via a merge commit so one more commit will be there on top of whatever we have then there is squash merge the one commit from this branch will be added to the base branch okay squash and merge so when there are the multiple commits we don't want them to be there so we can go with this squash and merge one commit from this branch will be added to the base branch then rebase and merge okay the one commit from this branch will be rebased and added to the base branch because why one commit is showing because we have only one commit if there are multiple commit you will see the multiple commits over here right so rebase concept we will see later and uh, let's go with the create a merge commit default option okay so i'll say merge pull request okay so now it is asking confirm merge um if you see it is asking for the confirmation so you say confirm merge okay so if you see the status is now merged right so the pr is closed now if you go and see pull request there is no counter right earlier one was coming here so here no counter is there that means the merge has been successfully done 
let's understand few of the options over here okay so before going to the other page you can see here it is merged it's showing smooth state merged one commit into the master from the user registration okay and uh, it has been copied okay that's okay so conversation if there are any discussions that will be listed out here commits it will show what was the commit okay and uh, if you see here right so smoothy HTT must commit this commit is merged to the master branch okay that is the option to revert it back okay create a new pull request to revert these changes so we can again create a new pull request and revert it okay otherwise there is one uh, th that also we can do and uh, there is one more option pull request successfully merged and closed right you are all set uh, the user registration branch can be safely deleted so delete branch if you click on this one our user registration branch is going to get deleted so when you are once you are done with your uh, code changes or code vr is merged to the master branch so you don't need that uh, feature branch anymore right so instead of keeping those feature branches and uh, in your repository it is a better practice to delete that branch sometimes also uh, while the rules are set up for the PR review uh, PR review and approval and merge right that time they can set this option okay so whenever you are uh, your PR is reviewed and it is approved it will be automatically merged with the master branch and your feature branch is going to get deleted so that rule can also be set up okay and uh, if that rule is not set up you will be left with uh, your branch feature branch which you can manually delete also okay if i click on this one our branch is gonna get deleted so now we have created a peer and we have approved it so the main reason of approving the peer was to get the code from the feature branch to the master branch so let's go to the master branch and see what happened there so go to the master branch and here main.java so if you see the first commit in user registration branch is now present in the master branch okay so the master branch and the user registration branch both are in sync now we can go to the commits also i can show you let's go to the commits okay so if you see here right so that's what they're saying so this is my commit right to whatever as that there was a merge commit okay so you will see okay this is the merge pull request from the uh st slash user registration so this got merged with the master branch three minutes ago okay this is the commit details okay if you want to see you can click on that one and you can see the what are the changes that has been gone to the master branch okay so this is all to the uh, raising a peer and uh, approving a peer and merging the changes to the master branch when there are no conflict so in the next session we will be seeing if there is a conflict merge conflict right what to be done okay so that we will see in the next class so if you guys are uh, liking the sessions and enjoying these videos please do subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends so we'll meet tomorrow thank you